continuation. Uh, I think. Never mind. What I want to say is, uh, most of my life, not most of my life, pretty much all of it, I have been predominantly raised by my mom and the women in my family and they've raised me to have very high respects for women in general to traditional things like yes ma'am no ma'am yes sir no sir holding doors open for women of all ages just common courtesy for people you kiss women on the cheek as a greeting you do not shake their hand you shake men's hands uh, you know you take your head off when you walk indoors etc etc just as proper what they would call a southern gentleman that's just how I was raised and that's how I feel is right with that being said that seems to be pretty lost nowadays a lot of kids aren't like that anymore they don't have a lot of respect for people in general and I find it puzzling and then just to see grown people you know grown men and of course women too just not to have respect for themselves or others as if whatever their parents taught them was worth nothing with that what all of this leads to is my key point in this video is being that I have such an amazing mother in my life who has showed me the right ways to do things along with the other amazing women in my life to sh just be a better person uh, and through my own observation and my own morals I've developed for myself is I'm not gonna attack not really attack but you know dog somebody out based on race I don't dog people out based on what they do I don't dog people out period because it solves nothing in a lot in, in all actuality I'm hurting myself not the person um I have no issue with black women and I don't understand why people feel the need to take out whatever issues they have specifically on a, with a person based on race and attack a whole race of people you know you have quote unquote bad apples with any person and a race doesn't determine that I mean I don't see why I do because black folk in general have gotten a bad rap for a very long time but the bad rap black women get is ridiculous it's like they get no shine whatsoever and I said this in another video I mean I mean it may sound corny it's an overused word but it's black women just have a swagger that no other race or ethnicity or women have is just the way they carry themselves is just they just fly man so I don't understand why they don't get more love you know they age so well like no other race of women age like black women do and they come in so many the varieties you know they have black Latinos you, know, you have Blasian people you have all kinds of mixtures shades sizes etc and it's just like they get thrown 
to the side versus other races and I don't understand. I, I say this all the time, but I understand, but it's still like you don't understand. You know how things are, but you don't understand why do they have to be that way. That's how I feel about the situation. I feel like they black women should be equally appreciated just like any other woman is. But it doesn't seem like that. It's always a back burner thing. You turn your TV on. The most you're going to see a black woman in is a either some black movie or a commercial or something like that. But in leading roles and things like that, just black people in general do not have a lot of shine on TV, but black women get the short end of the stick when it comes to a lot of things. And I'm here to say that I vow whoever, whenever I meet the woman I'm with, I'm going to fight to make sure that she gets equal opportunity just like I do. I'm not going sit to sit back and just watch her be treated differently because of the color of her skin just like I will not stand for being treated differently and not getting equal opportunities because of the color of my skin and because of her skin color and her sex that she gets less she deserves the same rights I have as a male it, it's, it's ridiculous it should be the same way so uh, I just want to tell black women that I appreciate y'all a lot. Y'all go through a lot. Y'all raise families by y'all self more than more, more than other women have to a lot of the time. You know, hold down jobs, families, all of this stuff. And it's a lot. And there should be more appreciation show for mothers, period. You know, I don't see it across the board. Especially amongst black women, y'all don't get enough shine. It's like y'all do a lot. Even when black women are married, they have for years are the core of the family and hold things down. Without the without the black woman and the, the wife and the mother in the house, the house is just it's not together. The husband and the wife have to come together to hold the household together. So for y'all to be by yourself and still hold it down like that is amazing worth acknowledgement and appreciation but it's not acknowledged and appreciated by a lot of people but I just want to know I'm one person but one voice is better than none and I'm here to. I'm not here on YouTube to bash y'all. I'm here to support y'all and show appreciation for what y'all go through and do on a daily basis. It's very commendable and should be honored. I really do hope things get better than they are right now, though, because it's it's pretty ridiculous, you know. You know, you got pimps writing books trying to show you how you supposed to date and all this other stuff. Like, they perfect and know everything, but, you know, people need to look at they self before they try to give anybody else advice. I don't know everything. I'm young, but through observation, I know things don't have to be the way they are. And nobody's perfect, so I don't see why people feel the need to point out everybody's faults instead of just like I said in my other video, come together. So, uh, I'm definitely gonna fight for things to be different because, uh, it's time for our voices to be heard black women and black men get equal pay to anybody else equal rights to land and property and wealth and just everything America offers so 
everybody have a, a a good Sunday I might make one more video I'm not sure so y'all take it easy